Hey there, I'm Georgina and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to work with me, you can do. I have an online singing course and I also have a critique option. The links are below. And if you like what you see today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So today's video has been requested by you guys, my honest children. I know it's supposed to be a vlog or a cover day, but I've got neither ready at this moment in time. Life's kind of got on top of me and I haven't been able to do either. So I thought this would be a better option for you guys since you've asked for it. So what I'm going to be doing is listening to and analysing Swimming in the Stars, Britney Spears, 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 Britney Spears, but the raw vocals. Now, this is a clip from the track itself. Someone's managed to get their hands on the raw vocals. It's only a short clip, but I'm really interested to hear, does it really sound like her? Obviously, it's her that recorded it, but is there auto-tune on there? Is there effects? Or is it just her natural voice? So let's dive in. Let's go. Stars tonight. So that first bit, it actually sounds quite natural. I'm not hearing any effects. I'm not hearing any compression. It just sounds like a raw vocal. So it really does sound like her. It's pretty good. We'll glow, swimming in the stars tonight. Ah, now the swimming in the stars. Now that does sound like her. But then on the tonight... There's definitely some kind of tuning on there because you can hear that slight, like, wibble, almost like it's trying to correct it. Oh, and we'll glow and shimmer in the diamond lights. Again, on Moonlight, you can tell that there's some natural vibrato that her voice has got, but the auto-tune's not dealing with it all that well and it's making it quite kind of jittery, very... Um, just wobbly, really. We'll dive in head first all the way down in gravity's arms will drown. Now the drown sounds completely like her, like there's no tuning or anything, but the word before, you can definitely tell that it's been tuned and corrected into the right position. So at the time of recording, she was not singing it in the right note, so it has been corrected. You can tell because it's slightly robotic, it loses a little bit of the depth. The world is ours. Very auto tuned, the world is ours. Wow, there's so much tuning on that. I don't know what tune she sang, but it wasn't that. Definitely corrected. When we're swimming in the stars. Ah, again, on the swimming in the stars, the swimming's not too bad, but the stars, again, you can hear that there is an effect on there. It's most likely to be a standard auto tune, but I also think what's been used on this track is a piece of software called Melodyne. Now, Melodyne is like um, auto tune, but instead of just blanket, ro you know, blanket all through the vocals, what it does is it and now allows you to analyse the entire vocal track and pick out certain notes down to literally syllables where you can shorten them, lengthen them, or you can correct the pitch and place the pitch where it should be. At the side of the screen on Melodyne, it actually shows you the keyboard, so it actually shows you the notes that has been sung, so you can see how far out it is from what it should actually be. You can also use an option which is called Pitch Correct, which allows the, the pitch, if it's not quite, say this is the note here, if it's kind of there and not right in the centre, you can centralise those notes as well, so it just makes it sound even better. Now, I think there's been all of that done to this. There are moments where it's just her natural voice, but I would say at least eh, at least 80% of it either has auto-tune on it or it's been pitch-corrected by using Melodyne or some other software like that. It's such a shame because there are, there are moments of her natural voice, her natural emotional quality coming through, but it's it's just been corrected so much you can't 
you can't connect with it very much. I mean, from the stories that I've heard from you guys, from Britney fans, this song was never completed. It was something that was recorded as a demo, never got finished. And it sounds like the producers have finished it for her. You know, they've copied and pasted vocals, trying to spread it out through the song. There's also backing vocals on here, which I don't think are Britney Spears. I don't know who it is, but I don't think it's her. Uh, and it's just been, unfortunately, produced to death. Uh, and it's, ju it's just a real shame. I want to hear her actual vocals, what they sound like. And there's ways of adding pitch correction and auto-tune so it doesn't sound so robotic and so just obviously done but this unfortunately it's it's so obvious what's been done to it and i mean it can be a style choice i mean let's face it uh, share and believe that was a style choice to use the vocoder and it was awesome it had such just a new sound and it just changed the way that pop was at that time but i think now Artists are often, well, it's not always the artist, producers are often overproducing the vocals, which makes it not sound real anymore, which is a real shame. I mean, when I produce my vocals, I try and keep them as real as possible. I'll add compression, I'll add reverb, I'll probably add a little bit of delay to make it sound fuller and warmer. But it's very rare that I will use any sort of melodyne and auto-tune. I never use it. I don't like it because it's a blanket thing. It goes over the entire vocals of the entire track rather than it just being specific moments. I mean, if I ever do use tuning for vocals, it would always be melodyne so I can see what notes it was, what it, what you know, what I sang, and I can always adjust it to what it was supposed to be. I think it's a much nicer way of doing it. It still makes the vocals sound okay, but sometimes, I mean, think of it like this. If you sing a note and it's slightly off tune, you can adjust it within sort of one to two notes and it will sound reasonably natural. But if you take it further than that, it's going to sound robotic, electric, and it's not going to sound right. And in this case, there are moments in this recording where you can hear that that's happened, where it's been moved further away from that sort of two or three notes and it's just... It's like, no, she so didn't sing that, no. She sang something else, but they've had to correct it to that point. Wow. So let me know what you think of this raw vocal. Do you like this kind of overly produced sound or would you rather hear her natural tone? Let me know. I'd like to do more videos like this in the future, actually. So if you do like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves.